I see it's there you are. Oh my goodness. Let's see here. We're down in the cement pond. Let's see what we got for our Pisces. Link me to the soul cycle of Pisces. Two fish. Ooh, a spiritual upgrade. You and your head about this though. This heads up to a completion. We completed a cycle recently puzzle. Spirit, link me to the soul cycle of uh, Pisces down here in the cement pond. High vibing Pisces. Oh, Queen of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Okay, you could be dealing with a Queen of Wands who's uh, down on her luck materially right now. Yeah, it's Taurus energy. Somebody who's easy on the eyes. Somebody who's easy on the eyes, yeah. Hmm. Okay, what do we got in the heart of the situation for Pisces there, Holy Spirit? Let's do any. These two? Okay. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, Four of Wands. This is a twin flame that, that's going to lead to somebody's uh, getting their head above water in a good way. This is like somebody who's uh, Pentacle Suave. Could be a Virgo. That's Virgo energy. And um, Aries energy. Hmm. This is they perfected something. This could be even you, Pisces. You could have perfected something. You could be uh, balancing out. Somebody in your energy has perfected something. And it's leading to a lot of pentacles. Hmm. This adds up to 13, Dr. Death. They could be working with Dr. Death and gone through a bout of transformation. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. This is somebody who's easy on the eyes. Somebody who uh, does things their, their own way. Or does things not the regular run of the will way, let's say. Maybe not the, their own way. Okay, the challenge is a group of like-minded individuals. You could be uh, challenged by a group of like-minded individuals. Um, a lot of material work. This is a group that works together. You're challenged by this group. <laughs> Uh, subconsciously, what you're thinking of there, Pisces, is a hermit, okay? You could be thinking about going within, or you could be thinking about a Virgo. There's definitely a Virgo in the heart of the situation, possibly, that perfected something. Somebody who tickles the snake of the belly, somebody who's, uh, who may be a little bit of a loner. Uh, they choose to be alone, though. It's not because they're not, like, uh, mm, well, they could be a little weird, too. They could be a little weird. A lot, of, a lot of time hermits are a little weird. But not in a bad way. You know what I mean? Not if they're upright like this. So, <clears throat> We got in the past. How the fuck do we get here? <clears throat> Nine of Wands. Okay. Being passionate beginning. You were out. Uh, it doesn't have to mean like being a hoe, but it could, could be. This is like um, Lord of Flame and Lightning. Sagittarius energy and Scorpionic energy. Going out there, following your passions, okay? You got fire sometimes high in your chart there, Pisces, so that could go along with you easy. What do we got in the present moment? Ooh, okay, these two. Okay, presently, you could be in illusions, or you could have a lot of options, but you're perfecting something. This is more Virgo energy. You could be working with Virgo. Um... It sets up to 16, the tower. Ooh, this is definitely going to lead to a tower. Whatever this is. Oh, wait a sec. No, 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 I'm sorry, that's wrong. Uh, 15, the devil. Okay, this is the adds up to the devil. This could be your illusions, actually. And you're being, you're also being very prudent, and you're trying to perfect something work-wise, but you could be in illusions at the moment. This is scorpionic and... Uh, Virgo energy. Mm, adds up to the devil, though. So you could be obsessing over something. Mm. We got in the future. The future for Pisces. Ooh. Okay, you could be in the future if you think practically about things. This is uh, more Sagittarius energy. If you think practically about things, this is the queen of the thrones of the earth. Think practically about things. You're going to gain forward control. You're going to gain control of your environment, get forward movement, and it's going to lead to victory, okay? 
Mm, this adds up to eight. This could be something to do with Leo, or this could this could is gonna add to your strength, feminine strength, knowing when to hold back. The the way you're influencing things is with the truth. Ooh, I like to see that, Pisces. The Lord of Earthly Power. You're stabilizing. You're stabilizing. This can be rigid too. This can be. Um, you're holding on to something tight. And maybe it is this truth, this truth you're holding on to very tight. Maybe you know a truth and you're holding it, holding it very close to your heart. Um, hopes and fears, hopes and fears. You're hoping to be a student. You're hoping to learn and you're hoping to, um, you could be hoping for a younger uh, earth sign or fearing one, fearing a student. Uh, the lens you be looking through there, Pisces, is a king of wands. You're looking at things too, like you're being passionate and you're being like, um, this is like um, being creative. You're thinking outside the box. You're making the pussy purr. Instead of like trying to bang the pussy all the time, you, you've got the pussy pulling your wagon. Ooh, you've got, it on, you've got the beast under control. Nice. Cancerian and Leo energy. Hmm. We got here. Okay, in your environment, there's a cycle being closed out, whether you want it to or not. I'm thinking this cycle's being closed out. Um, the outcome for Pisces. Outcome. Let's see. Okay, the outcome is ten burdens. What else, Holy Spirit? These ten burdens for Pisces. Or, mm, yeah, I think so, because you're in illusions right now. Be careful, but in the future, it says if you think practically, you're going to get victory. So, like I say, the outcome and the future are never set in stone, right? Here it's this one, these two. Okay. Right now, you're focusing on loss. Okay, these are all bad. This is like loss, lack. And um, not slack and sorrow and crying over spilt milk. That adds up to the devil, too, with the Ten of Wands. Like, that's a lot of burdens. Mm, 16, 17. Could this, uh, with, the, on, with this, if you think practically and, and harmoniously change this without causing too many problems, you could, um, this could add up to 17, faith, hope, and healing. It really could. At the bottom of the deck here, we've got um, the Queen of Wands. This could be you. You're, you're easy on the eyes. You're um, you're outside the box sticker because that's the way you're, um, the lens you're looking to is the King of Wands. So that makes sense. And that goes right along with the underlying energy. So let's see here. How's, uh, How's Pisces going to come out of these illusions? I want to know first. How's Pisces going to come out of these illusions? Okay. Something to do with heartbreak. These illusions could be over some kind of a heartbreak. Hmm. It says up to 15, 16, 17, 18. Faith. That's your number, Pisces. Yeah, definitely. You're in illusions over some kind of heartbreak from the past. I'm thinking that you're still you still got a wound over. Hmm. Where do these ten burdens come from? For Pisces, I want to know what are these ten burdens? Okay, these ten burdens is um, five of wands. Right now, conflict is blocking you. That's what's causing these ten burdens. Is conflict is blocking you from forward movement. Mm, it says in the future, if you think practically, you're gonna gain. You're gonna gain forward movement, though. Or this could be something to do with a Cancerian thinking practically in the future. Mm, what's your advice, Holy Spirit, for Pisces? Okay, be the Queen of Cups. Be receptive. Follow, follow your nature. This is your nature, nature, Pisces. That's the way you're supposed to be. Listen to your inner feelings, your inner pulls, your inner. Your emotions, you know, that's 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 your that's the waters that you swim in, Pisces. So good luck with that.